right into it. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, our first model is Marianne Evans. Um, Marianne's uh, outfit is a, as she described it, very. She did a great job of description. It's a simple black suit. The gold sweater, the, the suit is from the um, Twice As Nice shop. The uh, sweater is hers. Some of the accessories are her, hers, and some came from the Twice As Nice. Um, the shoes, please make note of her shoes. She is um, <laughs> accessorized with animal print, I would call it. Um, I think she said leopard, but um, they're all animal prints that she has on, uh, very well accessorized. The, um, the jewelry too, I think, came from the store. Um, so as you know, you know better than I do what treasures you can find there um, when you shop at the Twice As Nice. And you will see some of them today because they are absolutely wonderful. Um, Mary Ann has lived at Asbury for a little over four years. She's uh, ambling around here. Please make notice of her shoes as she comes and uh, um, we need to move the wheelchair because the models are going to go out that door. Uh, thank you very much, Mary Ann. We look forward to the next one. She says she loves it here because there are so many nice people. Uh, second model is Jean George. And uh, Jean has selected a, um, let's see. <laughs> um, let me see. It's a charter club quilted jacket. And she has teamed it up with her own shirt. And the pants are from Twice as Nice. The jacket is from Twice as Nice. Um, so see what you missed? <laughs> Some of these will be available for sale. Some the models have already um, snatched up. Um, they have to, I told them they had to put them on layaway because they were so expensive um, that they had to pay by the week. Jean and her husband moved to Asbury about eight years ago in 2005 and are very happy here. They also look very nice, happy. Um, cordial people. Um, she and Jack have been married for about 57 years and they said that they were married by not one but two Methodist ministers. So they were very well married. <laughs> so uh, thank you very much and we look forward to the next time. And next we have a lovely royal blue outfit modeled by Norma. Um, it's a two-piece dress and jacket in a lovely shade of royal blue. And it is a sleeveless dress, if she'll slip it off just a little bit more sleeveless. And she has, the scarf around the middle was her idea, which I think is very nice. It, uh, it really does a beautiful job of bringing it together. Very nice. It's, uh, it's a Karen Stevens. She's going to walk around and uh, show you her outfit. Um, let me tell you a little bit about Norma. Um, she's been here for a little over five years. And like the other models, she loves the people here. Um, she likes the activities. She was a secretary and office manager with engineering firms uh, before she children and she became a stay-at-home mom. Can't hear? Okay. I have to stop turning around. Okay. Okay. If the people in the front row can't hear me, I know the ones in the back are having trouble. Can you, can you hear in the back? Okay. They can hear. Um, Norma's been married to Pete Fenton for five years. 
and uh, through her marriage to Pete, she has added two sons and two daughters, and they're blessed with eight grandchildren. And I have one daughter. <laughs> oh, she has one daughter. Thank you, Norma. Martha is uh, her next model. A rather bold print of white roses on black. I have to tell you that this is the description that I'm reading you is in her own words. So I thought that she might get a job with Coldwater Creek. Have you ever read their descriptions? She did, she did that sort of job. The top of this two-piece outfit can be worn as shown or tucked in at the waist. She has it tucked in. So now she's going to pull it out and show you. Here. After you've had a large Asbury dinner, you can pull it out. <laughs> the, um, she selected the uh, pearls to accent it and uh, did a beautiful job. Very nice. I like the boots too. Martha says she hasn't modeled before. Um, but as I told you, she has a gift for writing the descriptions, so I think she's missed her opportunity. Martha has lived at Asbury for about four years, and she loves the hominess and the new friend she's made since coming here. So thank you very much, Martha. She will walk and show you her outfit. And now we have Sally. Sally chose a tan tweed suit with an easy fitting jacket. It's sort of loose around the middle there. Um, it has a, a, a skirt that has a front zipper pocket. Yeah. Very good. I'm very impressed with the gloves, aren't you? It's been a long time since we uh, we put on gloves and a nice brown handbag. The accessories are hers. Um, the turtleneck is hers. Um, but the suit is twice as nice and very smart. She's lived in Asbury for about three years. And she loves the feeling of safety here. Enjoys the congeniality of the residents and the staff. She was married to her doctor husband, Bill, for 66 years. And they have four children, three boys and one girl who lives in Mount Lebanon. So she's a local lady, happy to be at Asbury, as everybody else is, I think. <laughs> Sally has several more outfits to um, to model for us. The challenge is going to be um, getting out of these outfits and into the next one and back in line. Uh, so thank you, Sally, and uh, we'll move on to Dolly. Dolly uh, has never modeled before. Most of them have not, some have. Uh, I ask them several questions, you know, and then they answer. Um, and that's how I know all this information about them. Um, Dolly debuts as a model, and she's wearing a long pleated skirt. Not really long, it's not as long as mine. That's because I'm shorter, right? <laughs> Um, it's, she's wearing it over, uh, she says an aqua, um, aqua, aqua, light blue, light blue. It's a very difficult color. My husband will always say green or, and I'll say blue, um, but uh, it's a very, if it's aqua, it's a very light aqua. It's very pretty. And you could wear a lot of colors with that. Thank you very much. Um, wherever you would like, so that you can show your outfit. She was, um, uh, it 
it's funny how they answer the questions. Um, I list the questions, and some of them really expand and say, oh, I love Asbury, and I've been here all of these years. Dolly was a woman of few words, so most of her um, uh, answers were just single words. But um, she's been at Asbury for five years and likes the people. Um, she worked, uh, she has worked as a volunteer in the post office, and, uh, no, no, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Got the wrong one here. I work in the post office, and it's really nice for me to uh, meet these people. I work um, on the A, thank you very much, thank you. I work on the A's. No, I work on the L's to the K's. And um, so I know all of these people by name. That's not Dolly's mail and Sally, not Sally's, but... And so it's good to get to know the, um, uh, the people that I slot mail for. Um, I can put a face to the name on the mailbox. Okay. <laughs> Kathy? She's last but not least in the lineup before she has to go and rush to get changed. Uh, she's wearing a rust plaid jacket teamed with tan pants. Now the jacket is from Twice As Nice, the pants, Twice As Nice. Uh, look how beautifully they go together. Um, she added the purse this morning, so I don't know if that's yours. It probably was hers and is going to twice as nice. <laughs> so, uh, if you like that purse, you better hurry to the store afterwards. Okay, thank you. Um, these are lovely fall colors that she's wearing and uh, very apropos for today's weather. She fits very well with the pumpkins and the flowers around here. Uh, Kathy's a long-time resident. She's been here for nine years. And she loves the people, and she loves the food. <laughs> she likes the activities, too. And she described her uh, profession as a domestic engineer. <laughs> I know all about that, and you probably do, too. I was one of them. All the jobs, cook, housewife, Baker, seamstress, decorator, chauffeur, baseball mom, on and on and on. So um, most of us, I think, have all served in these capacities. Thank you, Kathy.